Where are we going today? I have an idea. Let's head back to Flemish Hut. Now, quite a while ago, Morgan had asked us to kill Flemeth. Ah, oh, we're gonna get interrupted. Time for killing. They're everywhere. Jeez. Oh, it's a leader. As you say. Watch out. It's at this big ass aura. Yeah. There's a bunch more up here. Oh. Trapped, trapped, trapped. Was all over. The fight is over, if that's what you mean. No. I thought I was. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Ah, thanks for being cryptic. We had to travel... <laughs> They had us traveling back to Pharrell, or to, uh, what do you call this place? Anyway. We have got to go, well, we don't actually have to, but we're going to give it a try to kill Flemeth. Now, Flemeth is a powerful, powerful individual, so I'm going to go and set my battle party up prior to this fight so we don't get our asses kicked. i got to go, no, that's not the button. One of these over here will do what I want. There we go, the H key. H key toggles the characters joining you on and off. Now I... Okay, that's inappropriate. I have the characters of Liliana and Zevran in the group. At the same time, even though they're both rogues, because I have... I'm going to plant them at specific parts of the map. What? He doesn't like me at all, I can tell. Different parts of the map so they're separated from each other. I also... I also have my mage. Put her right over here. Make sure she's far enough away so there's no splash damage. And my main character... I might as well use a bow here. I don't think I have a better bow for her. Well, hold on, let me see what... Let me see what Zevrans have. Oh, that's a terrible bow. There you go, you can use this one. Yeah, she doesn't have the dexterity to use this bow. Fortunately, Zevran can use it because he has higher dexterity. Boom! Instant ass kicking. I'm gonna give him these special arrows too. Anything, uh, any new armor I can put on him? He didn't even have a helmet.
Dog, I'm just going to stick him up here. It doesn't matter. He's going to be a melee fighter anyway. Now we're set up reasonably well. I'm going to initiate. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? And we know your little secret, Flemeth. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? She knows how you extend your unnatural lifespan. That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? What do you propose? Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? Do you think she will believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. And what do I get out of it? <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. Ah, forget it. Shame. What will it be, then? Now you die. It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come, she will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Okay, all my setup and all that has gone to waste since all the characters warped back to where we were having the conversation. So I'm just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. As you say. Let's see if this works. Damn it, the characters didn't do what I told them to do. There, now they're separating. Okay, the reason why I have them separate like this is because I need them to be far enough away that they're, the big splash damage attacks that the dragon, Flemeth, the shapeshifter, will do will not hit every character simultaneously. If I have a bunch of melee characters, she is going to just mess them up real bad. And if I keep them together at a distance, they'll get messed up real bad too. We just attack from a distance. And gotta make sure the dog stays alive. Fire attack would have been splash damage for other characters. Dog isn't even attacking. Everybody's stunned.
Kill her, damn it. There wasn't really any negative consequence to taking Flemeth up on her offer. But I just wanted to kill a dragon. Because you don't really get to kill too many of them in dragon. Tail. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, the warden is down. But oh, Flemeth is too. Sweet. Kill that bitch. I'm not in combat. There we go. Oh yeah, that's worth taking. Ooh, tier one. I'll have to sell it next shop, I see. Robes of Possession. Now, these are the robes that were going to be given to Morgan upon her return after doing this journey. And once wearing them, they would um, allow Flemeth to possess her, her body and become young again. Notice that it actually reduces her willpower by one, but it's actually, oh, it's worth it taking these and putting them on Morgan. And here is the grimoire. Now we have everything we need. Let's go back to camp. Killed me a dragon. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. You mean when you collapsed in battle? You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. But you're standing right here. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. 
Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. How long will the spirit last? I do not know. I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. Okay, so Wynn is going to die eventually. But now we've got our grimoire thing. Let's go and give it to Morgan. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Got 13 approval points from Morgan. Which put her all the way up to 76. Friendly! We can also put on the robes of possession. It looks very similar to the robe she's already wearing. It looks exa exactly the same, in fact. But it has higher stats that it gives you. More magic and more cold damage resistant, or more cold damage. Boom. End of... Um, let's talk to her, see if she found anything. It's a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. What? Something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. It was not such a terrible battle, trust me. Even so, you went. No one has ever... It was unexpected. That is all. The extent of my usefulness does not explain the interest and kindness you have shown since the wilds. You could as easily have ignored me entirely, yet you did not. You will need to forgive me for speaking so awkwardly, but do you suppose that we have become... friends? You and I? I have nothing to compare it to. I suppose you could call it that. Indeed. Remarkable. I have been with men physically, those who lusted after me and even professed love, but friendship with a man? I did not know it was even possible. Tell me, could there ever be anything more between you and I? Have you ever considered it? Maybe, under the right circumstances. Except that there is another. I understand, completely. Still, tis good to think that we are friends. Of all the things I could have imagined when Flemeth told me to go with you, this would be the very last. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Got even more approval points, Adam Morgan. Hmm, 80. Friendly. Now, the option of pursuing a romance with Morgan could have actually been started quite a while ago. We didn't have to wait up until this point after we had given her the grimoire and all that. In fact, her approval rating didn't have to be particularly high for that. Just, um... Uh, it's just a little further along, and the way she was talking about it is because 
the warden is already in the process of pursuing something with Liliana, that's the reason why. I mean, you can't you can't do both of them. 